I'm vlogging! Wow, you can teach an old dog new tricks. Hello everyone in the universe that will actually maybe watch this. Indigo is getting drills shoved off her face today. <laughs> but this, that's not what's happening. Give me the camera. Today I'm getting sinus surgery. I've been having extreme sinus headaches for a couple months now. So today we're going in and we're actually going to clear the infection that's in my sinus cavity that's up here. And hope that it overall helps the headaches and just helps my body in general. Well, they still drill it out. Kinda, yeah. We'll talk to you guys in a bit. That was the nurse saying that Inigo will be going down to the OR in about an hour. We have her port access. She hasn't eaten anything since 12 a.m. Well, she went to bed at 10.30, so I guess she hasn't eaten anything since then. Well, you know what I mean. Uh, she can't drink anything. No feeds can be run. And Alice is over there braiding her hair. What? I don't want her hair to get all messed up. Indigo is about to have chest PT done, her last one before surgery. She did her vest and mist already, so we're getting ready. The doctors are a little worried about the NJ tube after surgery because things can get a little bloody and we fear that the tube might get in the way of the blood being actually able to drain from the nose. But since they aren't doing anything to the sinuses on that side, we are hoping that the tube doesn't have to come out. Boniface! No one knows what we're talking about. Hey everyone! If you are new here or just generally confused and lost at what's going on, let me tell you. Hello, I'm Indigo Mary. I have cystic fibrosis, which is a disease that affects my lungs, digestive system, and pancreas. But mostly we say it affects the lungs because with CF, you live with a constant lung infection that sometimes can get a little out of control and we have to take care of it with antibiotics. I have a feeding tube. It goes from my nose down to my small intestine since I can't process foods and nutrients like I should. And this is my best friend, Alice. hey -o. And this is Boniface. I'm, I'm not sure what you are to me. Your boyfriend. You are not my boyfriend. Uh, your other best friend? Yeah, that works. So, the PT gals are here, and Indigo is about to get that done. It's time we're going down to pre-op. How you feeling? Nervous, but I can do this. Where's July? She'll be here once Indigo wakes up. She just had to take care of everybody else at home. So, back to how you're doing. Like I said, I'm nervous, but yet I want to get this done and over with. The anesthesiologist talked to us. He's ready to go. Now we wait to hear from my doctor and for them to prep the room and in we go. Speaking of your doctor, here she is. Bye, Indigo. Bye, Alice. Bye, Boniface. I love you guys. Good luck. We love you too. You've got this. So Alice and I decided to go get lunch as Inigo gets surgery. I wanted Subway, but Alice said that wasn't classy enough, so we're gonna get Taco Bell. No, we aren't. There's this cute little restaurant just outside the hospital that July said to meet her at. So we're gonna go eat there and then wait in the waiting room until Indigo gets out. Come on, I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast. Neither did I. Well, be sure to check your sugar levels when we get to the restaurant since you didn't eat. I will. If you guys didn't know, I'm diabetic, so that's why I have to check sugar levels. Oh, it's type 1 diabetes, just in case you were wondering. Look who we found! It's July! July is like the ruler of our house, barking orders and bossing everyone around. Boniface! What? I'm just telling him who you are. Put that camera down, let's just eat, and we'll pick it back up once we get to the hospital. Fine. So, we're now just chilling in the waiting room. Alice had to go home. Apparently, Chester was asking for her. Oh, uh, we got a call from Sierra, so that's how we know Chester wanted her. So, she went home. We're hoping she'll be back later tonight, maybe, when Indigo wakes up more? I got a call from her surgeon, because when they take her into the OR, you have to go and check in and you give them your phone number. So, they'll call you with updates while the person is still in there. Anyway, 
everything seems to be going as planned, so that's good. They're wrapping things up, and she'll be out soon. Let's pray she isn't in too much pain later. Hey, Missy. Mm. She was asking for you, but I couldn't let you in yet. You were asking for me, eh? I got you. You alright? Go, go. Don't worry, she's right here. You want your fuzzy blanket as well? Mm-hmm. Hi, July. I'm Mia. Hi. I took wonderful care of this little lady for you while she was in there. She didn't put up any kind of a fight. That's wonderful. Thank you. <coughs> Good job. Good job. I'm proud of you. My heading kinda just uh, up here. It hurts? Yeah. It's all over now. How do you feel? We had some issues down in recovery. Indigo waved me to turn off the camera, which I think is the last thing you guys saw. She started trying to cough some more, but then ended up throwing up so much blood. Uh, Nurse July and I, we were just trying to help her, like, coach her through it, you know? Saying things like, it's alright, it's okay, things like that. Want to talk to them, or... I'm in so much pain, I'm on, I don't even know what right now for pain meds. You've been saying that your head feels like it's gonna explode. Mm hmm Everything went well, according to plan. Now, I just need to recover and see if it worked. She's gonna be here a little while getting IV antibiotics to help her lungs fight off a pretty nasty bacteria. Uh, yeah? Could you hold my hand for a little bit? If I move, I'm gonna puke again, and I can't really see anyone just staring at the ceiling. So you wanna hold my hand so you know I'm not gonna leave you? Yeah. Well, Indigo needs to rest a little bit, so I'm gonna let you guys go, and we'll talk to you later. It's been a few hours, Alice has joined us again, and we've had a few more blood incidents, so I'm not going to show you Indigo right now, but just know she's doing okay. She's doing better. Hey guys, Indigo started to get a really bad headache, but I can show you her now. That's our one from home. She really likes it for some reason, so the hospital staff just filled it with their own ice packs, and we put it on top of our head. Is it helping at all? Kinda. It's alright. Don't expect anything to improve just yet. Look! I'm alive again! And I'm wearing my amazing Fry Life shirt. And since she is alive and doing well, July and I are gonna head home. Will you two be alright without me? I'll call you if anything happens and I'll text you updates. Everything went so well and so perfect, and I'm grateful for how helpful everyone was and how my surgery went. My pain has gone down a lot, but I don't know how I'm going to sleep because I'm still actively bleeding. We'll figure that out. I ate a little bit and kept it down. She's a trooper. You did good today. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. You did so great. Did we update them? The surgeon said she got a lot of the junk out, and we're hopeful that it's going to help in the long run. All right. You want to say it with me? For sure. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Good night.